Hi, it's Donna, your homegrown gourmet with the Gourmet or Good Enough team along with my sister Diane. I made pita pockets yesterday and today I'm going to make a delicious chicken dish to put inside. I have some trimmed boneless skinless chicken thighs, egg white that I beat up and then some ground up almonds. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip this in the egg white and then in the almond. And then we're going to fry them in our skillet. You could use cashews if you prefer. What I love about my electric skillet is I can make all kinds of delicious meals on a hot summer day and I don't have to worry about being near a hot stove. I'm also going to make a fresh dressing to go with this. This is about a half a cup of almonds. Okay, that's done. I'm going to add a little bit of oil to my saute pan. These are probably going to take about uh, eight minutes. While that's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and make my dressing. In my bowl, I have eight ounces of non-fat Greek yogurt. I'm going to add one tablespoon of mayonnaise, a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, a tablespoon of honey. I also need to add a tablespoon of vinegar. And then we're going to whisk that together, a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, dressing is done. We want it nice and brown. To go in my pita pockets, I've also sliced some grape if I had aromas, I would use those. These have a little bit too much seed. I haven't cut away the seed part. We don't need that. We don't want all that moisture. And then I'm going to use some scallions, and these were just picked from the garden. I'm going to use some of the green parts as well. Okay, I smell my chicken. Time to turn over. Look at that. I also have some diced cucumber. That's going to be for our mixture going into the pita pocket. It smells really good. I want to make sure that this is um, cooked through. When I'm at 165, that's acceptable. We can shut that off. And I'm going to go ahead and drain it on a paper towel. To make my filling, I'm going to take some of the tomato, some of the cucumber, some of the scallions, my dressing. Mix that together. And then we're going to slice some of the chicken. And we'll go one more. Okay, I'm going to cut my pita pocket. I have a serrated knife. Oh my, look at how beautiful that is. That's just gorgeous. I'm going to take my chicken, tomato, onion, cucumbers, even mixed in some chopped up lettuce and kale. Added the dressing, and now we can just fill the pocket. And that's my version of a filled pita pocket. Give me a thumbs up on Facebook, and thanks for watching. Ciao!